Hi everyone, this is Owen from Primal RC, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install our new V4 differentials in your monster truck. These V4 differentials are compatible with all monster trucks. You just want to make sure um, if you have the straight cut gears on your diffs that you also upgrade to the spiral cut gears that come on the V3 and V4 trucks. Um, so I'm going to be showing you the simplest way to crack these axles open and switch out the diff to the new V4 one. And the process is a little bit trickier on the front because we're going to have to remove the steering, but the rear is actually easier. So I'm just going to be showing you the front today, but if you can do the front axle, you can definitely do the rear. So I'm going to start by removing this front bumper cover. And I'm going to be using a variety of tools, but they're mostly going to be uh, four millimeter and five millimeter. And I think there's a few threes and uh, two point fives, but we sell these uh, T handle wrenches. Um, we have another version like this. We sell these on our website along with the bits so you can get them. They're some of the best tools you can have for working on a truck this big. And what I usually do is I'll break all these loose with a tool and then I'll use a drill to get the last bit of it out. And then something to help prevent stripping bolts is on your drill, you can set the clutch to be really low. So right here, I have it at nine. I usually leave it around there and that just prevents applying too much torque and you won't strip out your bolts. And then I always leave all my screws with the part and you can also reference the manual. The manual is a really good reference. It shows exactly how the whole truck goes together. All right, so next we have to continue taking the steering apart. All right, so I got that top bolt out of the servo saver. That completely freed this up now. So next, I'm just gonna undo one of these top screws on the servo. You don't need to do both. So I can just move that out of the way like that. And then we have these short bits too. So I'm gonna use one of those to get these off. All right, so now I removed this part. I'm just gonna keep the bolts with it and my servo saver. All right, so now you can see pretty much everything that's holding the two halves of the axle together is disconnected. I'm just gonna take one of the four link bolts off this one. And these are a larger hex size. Um, they're six millimeter actually. And these ball end ones are really nice for these bolts. And now all that's holding the axle together are these uh, bolts that are along the side. They're really long bolts that go across the whole axle. There's also gonna be two on the back here, right by the brake. It's these two uh, slightly larger ones. Those are the two we need to get out and then all of the ones around the diff casing. And for these, I like to use a long wrench um, with the uh, long hexes on it because I can add, I can get to the bolt down here and I have the wrench all the way over here. It's not hitting the axle anywhere. So I can get to all of the uh, screws. And again, I break all of these loose and then I take the rest of it out with a drill because these are really long. So this is one of the reasons the front axle takes a little bit longer. We actually have to remove this servo um, to get to this bolt that's in here. And it's just these two screws here and then this third one down here. All right, so our servo is loose. I'm just gonna leave it um, out of the way over here. And then now I can get to all the bolts again. And to make things a little bit easier, the last one I take out is usually the bolt on the top, just so that it's holding everything together. Okay. 
So I just kind of hold it once it gets to the very end. There it's loose. So now there's nothing holding this together. You'll see it'll slide open. Um, and you kind of have it in the two halves. You just kind of let it hang down. Um, the one thing you want to really make sure of is the orientation of the diff. So you want to make sure you put it in, put the new one in in the same orientation. Otherwise the uh, front and rear axles will spin opposite directions. So here's the old one. Um, you can reuse this grease on the new diff or you can add your own grease. So on our new diff, I just took some of the grease off the old one and put it on the gear there. And this is the hardest part, honestly, is getting the diff back in and making sure everything's aligned. Um, I start by obviously making sure it goes in the same orientation that it came out. And I fish it up in the middle. And then I check that it's engaging on this drive axle. So that's lined up. In the back here, you want to make sure these two bearings for the pinion are installed correctly. And then the brake disc is also riding in the uh, caliper. And then the last thing is just going to be putting the other half together. And then this is where you sometimes have to spin. You have to spin the uh, output over here just to get it all aligned so it slides together. So there it goes, and then you just kind of work it all together. And then I put some screws in and I just hand tighten them to hold it. And now it's the exact same process, just in reverse, putting it all back together. A tip for when you're putting these screws back in is to do the two opposite ones first. So I did this top one and now I'm doing the bottom one and I'm just going like slightly snug. Um, and then I'm gonna do this one on the side and you just wanna do it in a crisscross pattern, same way you would do lug nuts on a real car. Something else to just check quick is to spin the drive shaft by hand and make sure that when the front axle is going forward, the rear axle is also going forward. Um, that just means, you know, you install the diff correctly and you don't have to switch it or anything. So I just finished snugging up all these bolts. I'm going to go back and fully tighten them again in a crisscross pattern. And also don't forget these two little ones in the back. Next, I'll get this servo back where it belongs. Now I can start putting the servo saver back on. And sometimes this bolt back here comes loose and it's really annoying. So you just wanna make sure it's tight. If you get a wrench and you hold the uh, flat spot on the back and then you just tighten this down really good, you can also thread lock it a little bit. So now this is good to go back in the middle. Now our servo saver can slide back on and these bearings can also be replaced. We have uh, brass bushings as an upgrade. Sometimes these bearings break. So we have brass bushings that are way stronger. So I got the servo saver on. Now I'm gonna put the servo, these links back on. And these have a little uh, steel collar, so you don't wanna forget that. There's another steel collar and a washer for this center bolt. All right, now we do the steering links. Okay, so the steering is all set up 
and now it's just the bumper. Something else that's important is these top two bolts. You wanna really make sure you use the right size screw that was there originally. Um, if this screw is too long, it'll actually go into the diff casing and it can hit the uh, ring gear and completely lock up the differential. So the last thing is gonna be putting this four link back on. Um, you just wanna make sure you get the washers in the right spot. You can always look at the other link on the truck, but the small one is on the outside and then the larger one is on the inside. And because the truck was only held on with three links, you might have to shimmy the axle back and forth to get it in the right position. And then I like to use a ball end for this bolt because the shock is in the way, so it's easier to put this together. And we'll just fully tighten it, and there we're good to go. So this has been a quick video on how to install the uh, new differentials in your monster truck or replace differentials, um, diff cups and stuff like that. So hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, if you have any issues, you can email us sales at primalrc.com and enjoy your truck.